welcome in. So let's do a quick video on how to actually create these discrete functions or sequences that you might be uh, wanting to be able to plot. So when you get into decimals, uh, you can actually do it. Okay, so you can see here what I have done. I'm going to just kind of go backwards and start from the beginning. So <clears throat> the first thing that you are going to do is you're going to have to find and define your actual sequence. So how many elements do you want to be able to have? So, you know, you can call your variable n. Okay, so that is um, the sequence that you're going to be having. You're going to be opening up an array and now you can start from whatever it is that you want. Now, typically sequences will start either from zero or from one. So I'll start it from one in here. Okay. And then in decimals, you can put one. And then when you put the three dots, okay, it just knows that it will continue the pattern for you by increasing it by one. And within here, so I'm going to end it at N. Now this is a capital N. So this is just is going to tell me how many sequences do I want to have. So let's just plot 10 of them. Uh, sorry, how many elements I'm going to have. So I'll plot 10. Now, if you wanted 100, of course, you can do that or you can do 1000, whatever it is. I think Desmos does eventually restrict it. Um, if you want to have these, okay, so these particular elements that they're not actually increasing by one, maybe they're increasing by something different because, again, it's discrete, so it can be spaced out differently then you can start from something else. So you can start from 0 0.1, 0 0.2, or whatever it is, and do the first sequence for yourself. Now, once you have this, then you should define an actual kind of function. So your sequences, you know, they're typically not necessarily defined as a function, but let's say that they are. So I'm gonna take, you know, some function, so it's dependent on X, okay, within here, uh, you can make it, you know, again, as complicated as you want to be able to do it. So let's say we have 2x, you know, plus 1. I mean, it's going to be a straight line. But if you want to complicate this, you know, for yourself, you can certainly uh, do that. You know, you can square it or whatever it is that you're doing. So I'm going to just keep it, you know, a little bit simpler here for myself. So there it is then the next thing that you want to be able to have because you want to have discrete, you don't want this continuous line to be there. And that's actually not that difficult to do. So you will now plot. So you're going to be plotting just points. So to plot the points, I'm going to plot N and it's actually going to plot all the points just in one go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be substituting. So N into our function. So I notice that it um, has the discretization now of the actual points, right? So that as they're going through, so now I have a, a hundred points there. Okay, I don't really need a hundred, but let's keep it maybe at 10. And then I can shift this um, around in here. So it's going to end for us. Okay, um, and I can obviously zoom in and zoom out so that you can see this. Now, once you have this, now of course, you know, we're not done. I can remove on the left hand side the function itself. So notice it will disappear. So if I click or unclick, okay, this button here on the left. Okay, so that will disappear now. So those are just my actual values that I have. And then, you know, if you wanted to be able to have this, and sometimes you want to have those vertical lines. So it, vertical lines, you know, you can think back of, you know, what are vertical lines? Well, you can just say X is equal to N and notice uh, what this is going to do. It's going to plot you all the lines. Now, N, it's just the elements, right? Those are the values of the X values, but you don't want them going on into infinity. So you should restrict them for yourself. So this is going to be between zero and you're restricting the Y. Um, so this is still notice I just restricted the Y right there and already cut off the bottom and I'm going to restrict the top and I'm going to restrict it by that. So there you go. And now you have your vertical lines so that you can have kind of a discrete sequence. And if you want, you know, more of these, well, as I said, you know, a hundred. So notice it just keeps going okay, to whatever it is that you want. So that's how you can actually do those vertical lines if you wanted to be able to see it. Uh, if you want to, you know, change the colors, you certainly can do that. So notice you can click and unclick this, right? So here, sorry. So I'm going to just select and I don't know what color that was. I think it was purple. So there you go. So now it's all purple. Um, you can make the, you know, these 
okay i mean there's a nice some nice options you can of course also make it thicker or thinner you know maybe you wanted to make this thicker or thinner over here um, so you can certainly do that you can change the points right so like so so this is all up to you um you know how you actually do that okay so notice this is two okay let me go back in here and i i'm going to try to change it let's make it th thicker there and so that was nine so let's make it 15 there you go so those are the points and that's it okay so there you have it so you can play around with it you can put labels and lines and so on so that's how you can actually plot a discrete uh, function or discrete sequence by just defining a function and then your elements okay thanks for watching um, give it a thumbs up if you found it useful hopefully we'll see you subscribe bye everybody